Let me now turn to Nigel Topping, We Mean Business. Nigel. Thank you, Hakim. Thank you, Lisa. First of all, thank you to the Global Compact for um, raising the quality of the debate around carbon pricing. Um, I think particularly making sure that the business leadership criteria require that businesses name the price which will be transformational in terms of investment decision is really important. Um, one observation about carbon pricing in Paris, there is sometimes a misunderstanding about carbon pricing in Paris because the text doesn't specifically deliver a global carbon price. And let's, not, let's not forget that the French have very cleverly constructed Paris on four pillars um, and it includes the INDCs, over 50% of which reference um, carbon pricing and market mechanisms. Um, and as President Hollande said last Monday at the launch of the Carbon Pricing Leadership Coalition, by 2020, well over 90% by GDP of the G20 will have carbon pricing in place. So we are getting carbon pricing, if not a carbon price yet, although the, the linkages that many have referred to um, suggest a way forward. Um, I'm particularly pleased to hear so many people actually naming prices. Um, you know, for a couple of years now, we've been all saying we need, a, we need pricing, we need a meaningful price. Um, for investors and politicians, that doesn't, that doesn't help. So when we have many people at home hearing saying 25, 30, 40 to drive the switch from coal to gas, or BP saying in their recent paper that, it, that to drive investment in CCS will need multiple years of $100. That's really helpful because that can help us decide whether policies are going to work with what business sees as the costs of switching technologies. Um, as part of the, the, the work that we've been doing um, with the World Bank and the Carbon Pricing Leadership Coalition, um, very much helped by our, our partners at CDP who sit on so much rich data, um, we've been working to try and help create a f view of what future prices we need. The prices we're talking about now seem to be in the same range that we've uh, assessed a set of bands, 20 to 50 to really get things going, particularly the switch from coal to gas, 50 to 80 for real transformation. And last week we announced that we'll be creating a panel of experts, so I'd be looking for anyone in the room to join us, to every six months at the World Bank meetings, update a view of what the future range needs to be over the next 15 years to drive the transformation. So we are getting a price on carbon. Please keep saying what price will be needed to drive what bit of the transformation. Let's get beyond the generalities into the specifics. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.